We started off talking about how we were working together with it. And, uh, you know, Tom Kane and I intentionally showed up at meetings and hearings together. And we pledged our cooperation with the administration. But honestly, it's been radio silence since. And then I read where the governor just recently said, well, I don't need to do any legislation. Well, some of this stuff probably will require legislation to make sure that you fix it. So it's right, you know, for the long term. But, you know, some of the things that need to happen right now, Angie, is it's got to get people answers. You know, the people that I went and saw in Sayreville that have been flooded three years in a row, that don't want to go back in their houses, that are paying their mortgages, because we haven't gotten any help with the mortgage companies yet, they're paying their property taxes, that are in limbo, do I go back to rebuild a home that I have to, re you know what I mean, because I have nowhere else to go, or, you know, those are things that we can be doing now and that this administration absolutely needs to do is just say, look, in seven months, the federal government will buy your house. You know, where the money's coming, we'll buy your house. Go ahead, start looking, go move on with your life. Don't, don't worry about this anymore. So that's some of the things we need to do that are not being done.